Okay, mock draft, single team mock draft, New York Jets edition. First, I got, let's talk about like what's the logic going into this. It seems like in all of my like full mock drafts I've done, in number four, I have picked uh, a cornerback, and in number 10, I picked a wide receiver. So that seems to be what I want to have happen if I'm a Jets fan is you want to make sure you get like a quality corner or at least a quality player, number four overall, best player available probably. And then number 10, that's when you can start to draft for need and you should be able to get your pick of the litter of wide receivers as usually uh, a wide receiver isn't going before that. Some people have the Falcons going wide receiver at eight, but uh, I think there's too many holes on that roster. Uh, so for you, the team that has less holes on that on your roster, which is nice to feel if you're a Jets fan, because that's not typically how it goes, I feel like, then less holes on the roster, you can go out and, you know, pick for need a little bit after maybe picking for just best player available fourth overall. So let's get into it. Mock draft using the PFF mock draft simulator four round mock draft. That, I feel like that's a good amount. Just the Jets. Let's jump into it. So the first thing that you want to have happen if you're a Jets fan is like if, if Thibodeau fell to you, that would be awesome, right? If we're talking best player available, he's the best player that realistically, in my opinion, could fall to you. Uh, some people don't love him. I think he's good. Okay, gets drafted though, so irrelevant. And then Stingley goes at number three. To me, that's okay. I go Ahmad Gardner here. Give me Sauce Gardner himself. I like Sauce Gardner. I think he's the best corner in this draft, in my opinion. So I'm fine with Stingley going before him. That's cool. Now, with number 10, what do we do? So it's interesting how the first 10 broke down. We got some offensive linemen off the board, which, you know, we're not really going offensive line anyways. They could go edge rusher. I don't think it's a huge need just because Carl Lawson should be coming back. So uh, I don't really think they have to. And I think there's there's bigger needs, specifically the wide receiver. A lot of people are saying Drake London, which I get. I like Drake London a lot. Uh, I just like Jamison Williams a little bit more. I think Williams is my wide receiver one. And I really think he would be awesome with Zach Wilson. He could get separation and get open. I get the I get the Drake London comp. And that's that might even be a better fit. I don't know. I like, I like them both, though. I think they're both very good. So now with 35 overall. So this is an interesting spot for the Jets. What do you do here? Because I don't know exactly what the perfect option would be. Now, in some draft mock drafts, I have like I'm picking Travis Jones here. That's not an awful situation. Defensive linemen might just be the move here with their kind of, uh, you know, early second round picks just simply because like, you're going to get playing time. Like even if you're not a starter, you are going to get some playing time. So that's interesting. It also might not be the end of the world. I, I would say maybe to trade up into the first round if you wanted to, because you do have some extra draft capital. So that's another option on the table. Is there a corner? I mean, you already have a corner now. You got Sauce Gardner, but do you want to? Oops, I picked quarterback, not cornerback. But is there another corner that maybe you're interested in? I'm really not. Uh, I don't think they need enough. You know, they don't really even need one. I said I would like one. Maybe Lewis, uh, Cine, Kine. I don't know. Uh, maybe Lewis here might be a, a good move. And then for the next, because I just like drafting safeties in round two. They tend to have a pretty good hit rate. And then number thirty-eight, maybe go to defensive line route, or do I get Sky Moore? But I feel like they have guys who can do what Sky Moore can do, right? Like Braxton Berrios can do what Sky Moore can do. Uh, it, it's more so they needed like a true number one receiver. I think that was their bigger issue. It's a bit of a tough one for sure. Give me, I I just think give me Travis Jones. I think he'll he'll get some snaps for sure. He will get playing time just because that's how the way, the way defensive lines work is you don't just have four guys out there all the time. And he should be good in that playing time. So with the, the number 69th overall draft selection, you could again, it's not the worst idea in the world. I keep having Alex Pierce go here because I'm a big fan of him. I think he's underrated. Uh, it's not the worst idea in the world to draft an Alec Pierce and just say, like, hey, wide receivers matter. Let's just get another wide receiver. Make sure that we don't have, you know, last time there were times when guys weren't getting open consistently. So do what you can to not have that happen again. Another option would be maybe like a, you know, a Darian Kennard, who is a good offensive lineman who I think can, uh, you know, can help them out uh, a lot. They don't really need offensive line help, but he could at least be depth. And maybe you say, hey, we're, we're at pick 69. I don't know if it's, anything's going to hit. Now, Brian Asimov, uh dropping all the way here is interesting. I'm not a huge fan of him personally, though. So that's why I'm not, again, part of this is just like I have different opinions on these prospects than a lot of other people do. So, all right. I'm not sure Jets fans will love this, but 
my philosophy on team building is you need wide receivers and take a ton of wide receivers if you have that opportunity. I'm drafting Alec Pierce here. So help shore up that receiving room. That's my that's my logic. So that's why I picked that here. Now with number 111, what do we do here? Probably just pick like, I mean, I don't know. I could go Neil Farrell Jr. I could go Brian Robinson. That's kind of an interesting move. Again, do they need halfbacks? I don't, I don't think so, but like, I don't know. I like him. I think he's a good halfback. And again, he'll get some playing time, but yeah, I'll just go like, okay, uh, we'll see if uh, Jojo Dom, the man, the man can make the team here. We're dealing with late picks. And then uh, I'll just go with, you know, guys that I like here at the end. They don't need a tight end now. Um, so what are the move here? What do we do? I guess I'll just draft um, Neil Farrell Jr. As I think he's the best player available. I really worked on interior defensive line. Not sure if that's their biggest need, but that's what I ended up just, that's kind of how the value broke down. So um, this was interesting. Uh, I think it's fascinating because those top picks are really what I came in looking for. And that's why I decided to do this mock draft. It's like, okay, well, you know, let, let's see how I would have their top, you know, those that number four and number 10 overall pick. Let's see what I would do there. And I really like that. I mean, again, could Drake London go number 10 overall as well? Sure. I don't hate either of those selections. I think they're both smart. I would really be happy though with those, those two top picks. And I think that's, if you're a Jets fan, what you're probably paying most attention to is those top two picks. Where things get interesting is that second round where I don't really like love the fit for like, any of that stuff. Really from, from there on out, I'm kind of like, man, what else do the Jets need? They don't really, they're not that desperate for talent in certain areas. And it's kind of just more of a pick best player available kind of thing. So I felt like they could use a safety. So getting Lewis uh, Kine, Cine, never know how to pronounce that, mispronounce it all the time. I think that's interesting. Travis Jones, uh, I think he's just a good player. So that helps. It's always good to have good defensive linemen. So I'm not mad at that pick. Al Pierce is another one where it's like, okay, do we need another like solid wide receiver? Really, we need the, the stars of Jamison and Williams. But Alec Pierce has potential to be like a true outside receiver. I think he has that kind of potential. So that's what I find fascinating about him and why I wanted to make sure I drafted him with the Jets because I do think that he has, is someone who, uh, you know, listen, you don't know how these guys are going to work out. Like, we, you just don't. Uh, is is more looking like a guy who could be a good wide receiver? Sure, but, like, let's just get another guy in the room. Wide receivers matter. If that's how you win football games. Would the Jets do this? Probably not. I think the Jets would get, are going to get another edge rusher in this draft class. Uh, I mean, maybe that's where I should have gone with 35. Uh, it would have been a bit of a reach, but maybe in hindsight I could have done that, gotten uh, an edge rusher of some sort. That could have been an option, like a, a Drake Jackson or whatever. But again, it's kind of interesting to play these out and see, like, you know, the teams that are interesting. What do you have to do with this? And I think I learn stuff by making these videos of like, oh, uh, maybe because of this, they'll they'll trade up into the first round or trade down, and maybe a team will be able to trade up into the tops, uh, you know, the early second round and be able to pick up someone. I could see something like that happening, really, because why not? If you're the Jets, say, like, hey. If we're going to have to reach on someone at 35, let's just trade down 10 spots and get an extra pick later on. And that might be a, a you know team might be willing to trade up to get someone they like. Maybe a team needs a safety and would, would do that. So that's where I think things get interesting. Um, but yeah, so that's my Jets mock draft. Uh, they're a fascinating team. And I think one thing I learned too is like the Jets aren't as far away as maybe we thought they were. The Jets actually have some decent talent and don't have a ton of holes on their roster. Once doing this, I'm like, yeah, but did I need this? But did I need that? So, hey, good news for Jets fans. You're maybe closer than I otherwise would have thought. So, yeah, that's what I think about this. Let me know what you think about my Jets mock draft in the comments below. Tell me why I'm stupid. Always love hearing from you. And, of course, as always, thanks for watching.